Hi, in this video, I'll show you how you can add multiple WhatsApp numbers into your Wati account. So first select more, from more, select the option channels. Once you select channels, you are directed to the channel status page. Here, you need to click the button add. Once you click add, you will be asked to enter a channel name, which is a name which you can use for identifying the number which, are, which you have connected into your account. So for now, I am I'm entering the name sales. I click on create and continue and once I click on create and continue I am expected to do the embedded uh, sign up process so the embedded sign up process number will be uh, let me give me a minute would be, so I would like to continue use this number zero five six zero five zero nine double three then I can I'll enter my display name website URL and then I click on next step. Once I click on next step, I am asked to log into my Facebook account and I will have to click on get started here. I will have to choose my WhatsApp business profile portfolio, sorry, select next. Here you can either use the existing uh, account, uh, WhatsApp business account or you could create a new WhatsApp business account. Click on next, give the name, any account name and click on next. And here you need to add your new number to complete the verification process. So since so once you have entered your phone number and you have authenticated with your uh, OTP which you receive, which you will receive either as a text message or as a phone call, the number will get connected to your Wati account. Once done, what you need to do, once the account is done, you can just go back. It will get automatically directed to your channel status page. And here, once the number is added, you would be able to find the number that is added. So this was the number I was trying to add and here this number got added. This number will get added whenever the embedded signup process is completed successfully. So here you can select the number and here the particular messaging limit of that number will get shown. So if I select sales, the particular messaging limit of the sales number, the approval status of that particular number will be shown. So now once the number is connected, uh, let me go, you can go to team inbox. So now in team inbox, you have this option here in WhatsApp. So here you have the drop down. So here you would be able to select uh, the chats which you want to handle of the numbers that have been connected. So presently we have around uh, four numbers that are connected to this account. Now, if I want to handle all the chats of all the four numbers, I would be able to, I would be able to handle all the chats here. So say this, this, this is a chat which is, the associated with the first default number. This is the chat that is associated with the uh, number sales. So here, if I want, I could I could give a reply, and I could I could you know I could attach a file to the number. I could select a template, and the template will be based on will be associated with that particular number that has been selected. So here, you can select the numbers. Uh, if you'd want only two numbers chat, say for example, I just want. Uh, default and two, so it will only have sales and support. Uh, the chats will get shown. So here you can manage uh, the, the chats of all the numbers here, or if you just want to view and manage chats of few numbers, you could select it from uh, this uh, drop down. So that is one area, uh, and also in the all section, you will be able to find the chats of all the numbers. Next is you can click on broadcast. So when you click on broadcast, uh, you can submit your template message here. So all you need to do is that click on new template and you can submit your template. And when you submit this template, it will get submitted to all the numbers at one go. So you don't need to individually submit the template to each number. So for example, here I'm just creating uh, uh, a test uh, template and I select uh, Madhav at the language as India. So let me see. Hi, welcome to my store. Thank you. And once done, I click on save and submit. 
So once I click on save and submit, it will get submitted to all the numbers at one go. So just give a second. So it is in pending. Now, if I want to look at the template status of all the numbers, I can just go to this drop down. I can select, say, support. So that is submitted for support. If I look for sales, it will be submitted for sales. So it's right now in pending. So here you can know the template statuses of each number by selecting the drop down. Similarly, if you go to broadcast analytics, here also you will be able to view the analytics number wise, whereby you can select the default number, which is the default primary connecting number, or else you can select uh, the support number, or else if you want to see the number of sales, the details of that particular number is selected. And if you want to broadcast messages, you can click on new broadcast. Here you can choose the broadcast here and select the channel. So if I want to send the template message from channels, I can select it. And then I can just go ahead and uh, select the contacts and send the broadcast. So here I just need to select the channel to which the broadcast needs to be sent. So this is it. Next is the section of contacts. So contacts is a common thing. So all the uh, any contact that is coming from any of the number that have been uh, connected to this account, everything will come into this single database here. But if you want to filter contacts uh, that have come from certain numbers, we provide attributes. So we provide attributes. So for example, if this contact has, has communicated with number one as well as number two, so you could you would be able to filter contacts using these contact attributes so that is the section of contacts and next is automations so inside automations what will happen is that all the automations except rules are common so for example here you have default action keyword action reply material routing sequence whatsapp flows etc whenever you submit any one of these automations it will be common to all the numbers so for example say i have uh, set up uh, uh, like uh, a default action here and i'm setting up a default action and i'm selecting say to reply as a text and i'm just selecting save settings here so now I've selected this default action. So when I have sub, uh, when I have saved this default uh, action, it will be applied uniformly to all the numbers that have been connected. So if you just see, if I go to team inbox, and uh, let me see if I can just commit, let me communicate with one of the numbers. So give me a minute. Uh, let me just go to my WhatsApp app and let me just uh, message it. So, okay. So I just put in a message to 3247 number. So I've just given a message here. So see here, the message has come. JK and the default action has been uh, executed. Now let me see if I, let me communicate with the second number, uh, second or say the default number, say uh, double three double three so let me see let me just give them a... so I have sent a message to default one so here there comes the chat default and I just put in this message and there the same template message the message for the default action got triggered so like this the default action can when one set will be commonly available will be commonly applied to all the numbers that have been connected same goes to here for all the uh, default actions. Uh, same thing here, even for chatbots, you can create a chatbot. Uh, all you need to do is just create a chatbot and then you can use it for any of the numbers. Now, the only section is that in rules, you get to select the number to which the rules needs to be applied. So when you click on rules, so you can create a rule here and say i'm just creating this rule new whatsapp message so here when i create a rule i can select this and i can select the number to which the rule needs to be applied so if i want to select it to the default number i can select it i can add a filter say if i want a keyword or matches any keyword i could set it up and i could set up an action for whatever uh, for the filter and the action uh, filter that has been set so whenever a new whatsapp message is received for this particular number 
whatever action which we select for this rule will get triggered. Similarly, if we want to set up rules for individual all the other numbers, we could set up the rules. All you need to do is, you just need to come to WhatsApp message, select the uh, uh, default number, and select the number to which the uh, rule needs to be applied. So same goes here. Uh, so even, even if you want to uh, say enable it, enabling it for no what queries, that too also has the select number option. So all the all the rules uh, except new Instagram and new messenger will have the option to select the uh, channel ID. And by this, you can set up rules for individual numbers if needed. So this is the entire automation section. And next, what we will have to do is that in more, if you select more, if you go to account details, inside account details, inside billing information, and in your plan, now we give the option that customers can buy the number add-on. So here you can add, uh, you can buy the number add-on. You can click on add more numbers. Presently, we only allow a maximum of four numbers to be added, uh, excluding the uh, primary default number. So if you want, you can add it and you can buy the uh, number and add-on for it. And then once the add-on is bought, then you can go ahead and proceed to add the number. So here, this is the uh, section which we have worked on for uh, billing details where inside your plan, whereby you can uh, um, buy, sell, serve the number add-on. Uh, finally, uh, for the first phase, uh, certain features like API docs, commerce, as well as say integrations uh, will be only linked to the primary number. So whenever you inter implement an integration, it will be only applicable to your default first number that have been used to connect uh, uh, your Wati account. So uh, for now, so in phase two, we will be extending this to other features uh, such as API docs, uh, integrations and commerce. Thank you.